What's up, fam? What's going on? It's 8.30 in the motherfucking morning, and dang, dang, y'all. Uh, all the lines, no, not too many lines out, man. Uh, we got 11 games. I can still talk, my, talk, talk about it, you know what I'm saying? Talk about some matchups. Whatever the case may be, uh, yesterday was not my ideal day. Uh, it was only four games. Um, took a light, but the spots that I was on, it just was weird. They just were weird spots. It wasn't weird spots. It just didn't work out for me. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, you all had a better day. I, uh, what happened here? Um, oh, but that last game, last night, I did go in there and get me like a plus 125 on the same game parlay. That Denver game, and I hammered it and ended up getting back like that. Probably a little something like that, but, you know, that's where I mostly make my money at anyway, especially when the alternates come out. That's why FanDuel Sportsbook is a really, really good book. Um, I just, you know, man, people don't, you know, I, 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 you know, people don't take advantage of those alternates, uh, the right way. I don't know. I don't know if it's the wrong right way. I know I go in there and give me some low odds and I hammer them, you know? So right off the back, uh, we got, we got, we got 11, 12 games, 11 games today. Make sure that you're following underdog underscore NBA on Twitter. Hitting the notifications every time they uh, uh, hit the notification for every time they tweet. It's gonna be a lot of injury news here to, in, to decipher today. All right, we got two twenty six and a half over under uh, in this game here. Uh, New York Knicks at Charlotte Hornets. Uh, Charlotte Hornets seven point favorites here. Um, I'd imagine Julius Randle's gonna go. He missed the last game, uh, so we have to wait on that injury news there. Um, this is a back to back for. Um, mm -hmm. This is a back-to-back -back for Charlotte here, all right? Um, so, uh, I mean, this is a back-to-back -back for New York Knicks here, all right? So, uh, I think this is the third matchup between the two. Uh, Charlotte has won uh, both matchups this year. I want to say that. And, uh, yeah, so Charlotte has been on a mission as of late. Uh, they have, uh, let's see. Yeah, so they they on the mission as of late. They won five straight, and uh, they are seven and three in their last ten games. Uh, yeah, so between these two teams, uh, you know, yeah. So we got two twenty six and a half over under. Uh, New York Knicks has been trying to play uh, better lately, and that's you know some some you know some that's pretty good you know as of right now, but. Uh, they haven't cracked 200 in the last two times. Granted, um, the first game was in November. Then the next game was in uh, uh, January. And the first game in November, I mean, the uh, Mellow Ball had a monster game. So that's something to uh, keep an eye out on there. Um, man, though, uh, one, one bet I was looking at, we will not have props out for this one. I have some interest in this one here. Now, two or th more threes. Uh, uh, two or more three-point field goals made in the first three minutes of this game. Uh, you're going to have uh, Ball out there, Rozier, Bridges, and then you're going to have uh, Fournier and whoever else likes to shoot the three. So, I mean, two or more threes in the, in, in, in the first uh, three minutes is definitely in play. Uh, if you like it, you get it at minus 124. If you don't, and then you get it at plus money. That's something that I'm looking at. Um, last time Charlotte Hornet was on the on, on the docket, um, you know I like to bet they threes. I took two threes. I take two threes for uh, Bridges, two threes for Ball, and and two threes for um, um, Rosier. That came out to a a, a, a decent uh, bet, and then I took uh, the same bet and I just took it up to three threes for. Uh, uh, Rosier and that went out to uh, about 224 plus 224 and uh, I bet them both and both of them hit I'll be betting something like that again today um I can only look towards the Charlotte Hornets in this one I don't know man uh, that's what I want to say really you know uh I mean you know the Knicks they 6 and 0 against the spread in their last six games as a road underdog you know, so, you know, they, they just, you know, they 6-0 and against the spread in their last six road games. It's a period, you know. And then uh, after a loss, you know, the over is 10-2, you know what I'm saying, for uh, New York Knicks. That's some, 
that's crazy. You know, so after they come off the L, they, you know, they give up. You know, they come out and try to score a lot of points, man. It looks like they probably don't play that much defense when they do. And Charlotte, you know, the under is, uh, I mean, the uh, the over is 4-1 uh, and one in their last five games overall. And that's something that I, uh, I uh, really, really, really was trying to pay attention to. I need to look a little bit more into because this 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 total is sitting at two twenty six and a half, and like I said, uh, these teams, uh, of course, they you know they're different. They're going in different directions since January, but uh, neither neither games they played cracked two hundred. So uh, that's something between these two teams, though. Uh, in the last five uh, meetings, you know what I'm saying uh, the unders are four and one. So yeah, man, I I gotta lean towards you know if I'm gonna bet this game, I'm gonna take Charlotte. Uh, I don't know about the points. Uh, uh, under might be in play here. We will see. But, you know, uh, Charlotte has been playing some good basketball. Uh, uh, Sacramento Kings at uh, Indiana Pacers here. Uh, we got 234.5 over under in this one. Indiana Pacers, our favorite by uh, six here. Now, uh, this is, uh, this is, a, is this, if, you have, if you ask me, this is a money game. Um, you got to have to know your personnel. It should be a money game. All right? I like the pace of this team, uh, the Indiana plays. Uh, this should be a pace-up matchup for the Sacramento Kings here, all right? But uh, this is a really, really important game, you know? I think you could – I don't know the lines, whatever. The lines not out, probably ain't going to be out till later on. But if, you know, you know you're going to – you know, you got to have to know your personnel here. You know what I'm saying? So here, here uh, we have uh, Sabonis out. Then we have uh, Fox. He's question. He's probably closer to doubtful, and uh, it's a possibility that they might hang Fox and Sabonis up for the rest of the year. Okay, so you're gonna have to probably get used to this. All right. So, uh, uh, what else do we have here? Halliburton is questionable. Um, so that's something you know going up against this old team. This is a, a revenge spot for him. Then you got uh, Isaiah Jackson. He's questionable, so I really want to know if he's going to play or not. Uh, he's been in the concussion protocol for quite some time. Uh, Chris Duarte is questionable, and then you know it is what it is. Uh, Rashawn Holmes is out. He's been out for he's, he's he's presumed out for the rest of the season. So yeah, now uh, that's that. Now. Uh, yeah, so keep an eye on the injury news and stuff. So let's talk about who's who and, and, and you know, who who, who, we, who who I expect to see out here. So we, you guys can have a clear, uh, you know. So on the, um, let's talk about Sacramento side first because that's really important, all right? So um, we're going to go straight to Devion Mitchell, all right? Uh he he played 46 minutes last game. You know, he's already been playing 30, 30, 35 minutes. Then he came back and played 46 minutes against Phoenix. Um, in the 124 to 127 game right there. Um he's gonna be out there, okay? Uh I look for him to get excuse me, 15 shots or better. Even though he did take 22 shots last game, but that was an overtime game. I look for him to take 15 shots or better. Um not a big time uh, three point maker, but he will go out there and hit some. Uh, he's had multiple three point uh, makes in four of his last five games, so uh, you know that's something to look out there. All right, uh, he'll be handling the ball too. So there you have that. Uh, Trey Lyles, okay, Trey Lyles. You know he's playing around uh, thirty minutes a game, especially as of late. Um. He's somebody that you're going to have to look out for there, especially in this matchup going against Indiana. He's somebody he got hands. You know, he can shoot the ball. You know, he'll come out here. He's hit two threes or better in uh, uh, three straight games. You know, he will give you one three here and there. You know what I'm saying? So uh, rebounds, you know, he's averaging about five rebounds on the season, so he's going to be in play there. Uh, Dante DiVincenzo, you know, he's going to come out there and shoot the three ball. He's going to shoot it a lot now. He's going to shoot it a lot. So, uh, you know, his threes are going to be in play. And then um, uh, Justin Holiday, that's all he does is shoot the three, all right? You know, the, uh, uh, about 80 90% of his shots come from behind the arc. Uh, nine attempts from the field, seven threes. Uh, uh, 13 attempts, 12 threes. Uh, six attempts, uh, 
five from three. You know what I'm saying? So uh, 13 attempts, eight from three. So that's 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 what he does. And he'll be out there. He's played minutes in the area 27, 41, and 20. So I imagine his minutes are going to go up. And then last but not least, the other guy that I want to talk about is Damian Jones here. Uh, Damian Jones, uh, I would imagine he gets the starts. Once he gets the start, man, he gets a bulk of the minutes. They really like this guy. And uh, he can, he does have, you know, you know, he, you know, he he will come out there and put the ball in the rack. Uh, he hasn't had that opportunity in, in, in quite some time, you know, because of the trade or whatever. But I think he get the start. And uh, I can just go on and on. But I'll, I'll just stop right there, okay? So I really want you to know who's going to be in for the uh, Indiana side of things, okay? Uh, so I had to break that down to you guys, and I'll just keep it moving. I don't have a lean in this one. I mean, it's, I don't know. It, I, I, I'm not even betting that game. I wouldn't even bet that game. But I do. I mean, I do think it can hit the over. In the, in the, in Atlanta at uh, Detroit here, uh, 228 over under in this one. We don't have props out for this one either. This is the third matchup between the two teams here. Um, they should have Jeremy Grant back for uh, uh, Detroit here. Uh, yeah, so... Um, yeah, um, they played once on October 25th. Uh, Atlanta won that game 122 to uh, 104. Then um, uh, they come back on March 7th. Detroit beat them, excuse me, uh, 113 to 110 in, uh, in OT. So that's something, all right? Uh, as far as Atlanta, the, the over is 4 0 in the last four games. I'm playing on zero days rest, all right? And the over is six one and six and one in the Hawks last seven game versus a team uh, with a winning record of uh, uh, below four hundred. Now uh, the under is trending right now for uh, Detroit and rightfully so. I just don't like the uh, pace that they play at. It's uh, 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 the under is five and one and six in Pistons last six games overall, uh, and the under is five and one in the Pistons last six game as an underdog. Um, this is uh, Atlanta. This is this, this is uh, the uh, back to back for these guys here. Um, they have uh, this is a back to back for Atlanta, and uh, this will be the third. This is the yeah. This is the third or fourth, third and fourth. You know, so the third game in four nights for them. Um, I don't like that spot right now. <laughs> I don't like that spot right now, man. You know, um, I, I got a slight lean towards the under in this one. You know, Detroit fuck around, come out there and cover this fucking spread, man. I'm going to tell you that right now. They might fuck around, come out there and cover that spread. All right. We'll see, though. They might come out there and cover that spread, man. We're going to see, though. We're going to see. Uh, slight lean towards the under, man. Damn. They might come out there and cover that spread, fuck around, catch these Atlanta Hawks out there, tired and beat them. We'll see, though. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Golden State Warriors at uh, Miami Heat here, 211 over under in this one, and they just went out there and fumbled that motherfucking game yesterday. Terrible, man. Trash. Bubble Dub voice. Trash. Um, Golden State Warriors at, yeah, Miami Heat, yeah, like I said, uh, Miami Heat seven-point favorites, and they trash too. They just went out there and lost that game against motherfucking Philadelphia 76ers who had nobody, okay? So, uh, Things to watch out here. This could be a rest spot. This is a back-to-back -back game for the Golden State Warriors, okay? Uh, Golden State Warriors, um, they lost three straight, all right? Terrible, all right? They, they four and six in their last uh, 10 games. I mean, they just, man, they lost to Boston, San Antonio, Orlando, and, you know, it's a possibility that they could lose today. This is a third and fourth for them, too, so this is probably a rest spot. So keep an eye out for on the news. All right. It might somebody might be sitting out for this one. All right. Miami, on the other hand, they ass, you know, they uh they five or five in their last ten, coming off an of L from Philadelphia. Uh, you know, they're a little bit, you know, they rest the team right now. And uh we'll see, man. We'll see. Um uh shit. Uh the under. Now, when you've messed with Golden State, and yeah, you can see. I, I've been seeing it. You know, the under is 61 in their last seven games overall. You know what I'm saying? So, that's the only thing that sticks out for me. And uh, 
you know, the Heat. You know, they on four against a spread in the last four games as a favorite. So they haven't been covering, uh, you know, the Heat. They on four in they against the spread in their last four games. And uh, the over is 4-0 and in their last uh, four games versus a team with a winning straight-up record. Um, you know, Golden State, man, Golden State probably could end up sitting some guys and fucking around and getting the fucking win here. I mean, it's all types of shit going on in the NBA right now, all right? So uh, I don't have anything for this one right now. I I, I, I got a feeling somebody's going to sit. We'll see, though, man. We will see. Uh, you know, Miami he is supposed to. They need to come out here fired up, all right? That's what needs to happen. They need to come out here fired up and go ahead and dust these boys out. But uh, uh, I'll see. Uh, I I, I got to wait. I need a little bit no, more news on this game here. Uh, Brooklyn Nets at uh, Memphis Grizzlies. We got 239 over under in this one. Hey, it's Kyrie birthday, all right? So you know what that means. Um, it feels like we ain't had Kyrie on the on the, on the fucking slate in, in 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 a long time, all right? So uh, we do have a few props out for this one. I believe this is the first game that they have a few props out for. A uh, few things here: uh, the Nets they seven and one and one against the spread in their last nine road games. Of course, we know they play better ball better ball on the road for some reason. Um, the Nets, they 5-1 against the spread in their last six road games versus a team with a winning record. All right. Uh, so this is spread is pretty, pretty close here. All right. Um, the over is 4-1 uh, in the Nets' last five games versus a team with a winning straight-up record. All right. Now, on the Memphis side, uh, the over is 4-0-1 in their last five games versus a team with a winning record. So that's something to point out there. Um and then um, the Grizzlies, they 4-0 uh, against the spread in their home game versus, versus team in, in, their, in their last four home games versus a team with a winning record. So, you know, these these teams, you know, they're on the up and ups, of course, you know what I'm saying, especially Memphis, all right? Um, but, you know, uh, the Nets, in, the tw last, in their last 12 games, you know, they they uh, uh, they they 9-3 uh, they against the spread, you know, in Memphis. Now Memphis, uh, they you know going back to twenty nineteen, uh, the Memphis Memphis beat them five games in a row, so uh, they have that. Uh, but they only played once this year, and they had James Harden and uh, Durant. Uh, so uh, Desmond Bain went for twenty nine. He had five threes, and John Morant had thirty six points. There will be no John Morant tonight. All right. Uh, uh, they did have Kevin, Kevin Durant had 26 and uh, John James Harden had 19. Um, and then uh, Stephen Adams had 12 rebounds that game. Uh, there will be no John Morant, though. Uh, there'll be some Kyrie, though. So, uh, and I, I believe it's supposed to be Kyrie birthday. I have to go back and check again, but I believe it is. And then, you know, Kyrie, you know, he, you know he's probably going to be looking to put on the show here. All right. So, uh, it might be Kyrie turn. Who who knows? I I don't you know I don't know. So um, one thing I do want to point out here is uh, one thing I do want to point out. You know uh, I, I'm going to probably have some interest in. Uh, I don't know if the, the status of Drummond, uh, but I'm probably going to have some interest in uh, DeAndre. I mean not DeAndre Drummond and uh, what the fuck is his name? Drummond his rebounds and then. Uh, I will probably have some interest in uh, Tyus. Uh, what's the boy's name? Um, Tyus Jones assist prop. All right. So uh, I, depending on what the number is, so I'm really gonna be looking out for that. Okay. Yeah. And then Kyrie threes. Uh, Kyrie has been shooting the three ball really, really well. Uh, that's something to you know to look at. He's uh, eight five nine two two three 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 two five three 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 two. So, uh, you know, the three ball is in play for Kyrie. You know, even if you want to get down to a two uh, 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 for KD. And, and, and you, can get, you can get to a two. I mean, uh, not, not, not a two for Kyrie. A two for KD and a three for Kyrie. Uh, you know, that's a, a decent little uh, uh, a bet right there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I haven't locked this in, but that's just something I was looking at. All right. I don't have a lean in this one, man. It's too close for comfort right here. Memphis Grizzlies at home. 
I, I really want I really want to I really want to lean towards Brooklyn though. I ain't going to lie. I want to lean towards Brooklyn in this one. So, I, I did say I didn't have a lean, but I, I got a slight lean towards Brooklyn. They've been playing a little bit better on the road. We'll see, man. Uh, I'll see what the status is of Curry, too, man. So, itty-bitty lean, nothing not, not spectacular. 217.5 over under in this one. Um, Boston Celtics favored by 4.5 here. Uh, Utah Jazz on the road. Boston Celtics have been playing some really, really good ball here, okay? So, uh, yeah, um, interesting game. It's going to be an interesting game here, okay? Uh, things that's been going on between this um, Utah team, uh, they've been trending under as of late, uh, especially on the road. They six and the under is six and zero in the Jazz last six road games. Okay, other than, uh, they haven't been kept, uh, 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 covering the spread. Uh, they won and six in, 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 against the spread in their last seven uh, road games, and won six and one against the spread in their last eight games overall. Um. Boston, uh, Boston, uh, they six and one against the spread. They last seven games versus a team with a winning straight up record. Um, I mean, they've been ball, they've been balling, man. You know, uh, the over is four and one in the Celtics' last five games as a road favorite, uh, and then the un but the under is uh, you know eight and two in their last game, ten games following ATS loss. But uh, never nonetheless, they've been they've been playing some good ass ball. I mean, um, you know, Boston Celtics, they are. Uh, nine and one in their last ten games, uh, they just been an absolute freight train. Meanwhile, um, the, uh, Utah Jazz, they are uh, uh, six and four in their last ten games. These two teams just played, not just played, but they have played. Uh, that game was a big ass total. It was one thirty to one thirty three or one thirty seven. Uh, 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 um, you know, 137. Utah won that game. That was December third. All right, but they had guys like. Uh, you know, they had full strength, you know, full strength. And then, uh, 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 Boston, they hadn't, uh, really begin a supreme run. You know what I'm saying? I think Whit Williams got hurt that game, but yeah, uh, don't have many props out. I mean, <clears throat> for this game, but, I, uh, 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 first and foremost, I mean, you know, I think, I think I want to say, uh. I mean, I ain't going to, you know, I, I, Williams, he, he took a rest game last game, but he should be back, all right? Um, where I do have some interest is the three ball here. For both teams, I mean, um, you're going to have, uh, uh, you're going to have uh, Donovan Mitchell, uh, Jalen Brown, and uh, Jason Tatum out there. So, uh, you know, they're going to be out there shooting the three ball, you know? So, uh, uh, I did look at the, the, uh, 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 the uh, the two threes here. Um, uh, um, it looks like Jalen Brown's trying to uh, come out of the uh, 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 funk, that three point funk. Uh, he has been hitting that three ball a little bit as of late. Uh, he's had three three pointers in two out of his last three games, and uh, multiple threes in um, five uh, uh, five straight games. So uh, two threes is not out of realm of possibility for him. Uh, three threes for Donovan Mitchell is not out of realm. One possibilities, and then uh, two threes for Jason Tatum. You know what I'm saying? You can get there, uh, even if you want to take Donovan Mitchell threes down. You can get two threes and three threes for Jason Tatum at plus 108. Uh, nothing is guaranteed. I mean, at minus 108, nothing is guaranteed in that category. Uh, yeah. Um, looking at this game overall, um, I, I, you know, Boston at home here. You know what I'm saying? They've been playing really, really good e either way it goes. Uh, the total was kind of low already. Uh, I did want to lean towards the under, but, you know, I don't know, man. Uh, I'm just looking for Boston to keep being a, a, a freight train here. So if you want to go back here, you know they got ultimate, uh, 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 alternate uh, total parlays right here. We can go with the match and you can go with the line, okay? So uh, the, the, the original t uh, total is uh, 217. If you want to go up and then under, you know, alter it up and then under, you got 221 there. Uh, you have a, a 223 and a half right there. I suggest you jump on these early if you want to get in there. You got a 225 and a half right there. So this is one that I might jump on here. You know what I'm saying? Just for fun or something like that. I mean, I'm, I ain't going to say for fun, but, you know, uh, maybe a, a Boston Celtics and a, a 225 under since I'm leaning that way. Uh, 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 so, yeah, they got some, you know, 219. If you want to go lower, they got 217 and a half there. All right. So, yeah, uh, so 
you know, I'm gonna lean towards Boston, uh, in Boston in this one, you know, because they're at home and they, you know, if it ain't broke, then don't fix it. This is another game uh, for uh, uh, the two, three, two or more three point field goals made in the first three minutes. This is one of those candidates right here. You could take the yes or no. You'll be both of them at uh, minus one ten right there. All right, so I do like that bet. All right, slight lean for Boston and for me in this one. Uh, I just think they are. Uh, they playing some really, really good concentrated basketball, uh, you know, so it is what it is, all right? Let me see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That spread, I'm kind of iffy in that spread. I'm kind of iffy on that. Uh, Orlando uh, Magic at o uh, uh, Oklahoma City Thunder here. Um, we got 219 over under in this one. Uh, these two teams just played. Uh, we don't have props out for this one. They didn't, uh, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't. They didn't they didn't even crack 180 points, I don't believe, last time these two teams played. Um, uh, Wendell Carter went out there and had like 30 and 16. So he's definitely, if this is a back-to-back -back for Orlando, uh, Orlando has been trending uh, under lately. So, uh, you know, keep an eye out on SGA. If he plays, then, you know, uh, things could be changing up a little bit. Like I said, we don't have props out for this one. Uh uh, somebody like man, you know, he's been going out there shooting the ball pretty well. And then, you know, if uh, uh, if uh, if SGA don't go, then you can look to somebody like Pokusheski. Uh, even though he did disappoint me, uh, in this game he shot two for fifteen, maybe two or three for fifteen, maybe three for twenty or something like that. It was terrible, but he came back and redeemed himself the next game. Of course, I didn't bet on him, but yeah, uh, keep your eyes peeled for the injury situation. Um, you know, uh. I, I need to know what the injury situation is. If Wendell Carter goes, I know that he's kind of iffy on back to backs. I don't know what it is, but uh, you know, I just got it's a wait and see approach for me. Uh, if, if he does go and uh, SGA don't go, then it's Orlando Magic's for me on the road. Uh, maybe a possible under though. You know, uh, either way it goes, maybe an under. Got to see what's up with SGA though. Uh, Phoenix Suns at Minnesota Timberwolves here a two thirty six and a half over under in this one. Uh, this should be one of the good games right here, man. This should be a game for, you know, this is one of the better games of the, us on the slate here. Um, yeah, man. So we got a, a 235 over under in this one. Man, I was really, really iffy on, you know, trying to figure out who was going to win this game here. All right. Now, uh, Phoenix. Uh, um, the over is 5-1 uh, and one in this Phoenix Suns last six games overall. All right. And it, and you know uh, 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 the over is five and one in the Suns' last six games when their opponent uh, allows a uh, uh, hundred points or more in their previous game, with it, which is mostly mainly damn near all the time with uh, Minnesota. So uh, you know um, the under is thirteen two and one in the Suns' last sixteen games playing on two days rest though. So we'll see we'll see about that we're gonna see about that tonight because Minnesota. Uh, you know they 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 like to they like to they like to put that ball in the rack. All right, now uh, um, Minnesota they four and zero against the spread in, the, in their last four games following ATS loss. Uh, the over is six is six and one in Minnesota uh, last seven home games versus a team with a road winning percentage greater than six hundred. Uh, Timberwolves they ten and two against the spread in their last twelve games overall. This is a really, really close game here. Yeah. Close to a pick them. It's a really, really close game. So, uh, you know, I don't know. Um, between these two teams, the Suns are 4-1 against the spread in their last six meetings in Minnesota. Uh, the under is 4-1 in their last five meetings in Minnesota. And uh, the Suns are 10-4-1 uh, against the spread in their last 15 meetings. All right. No Chris Paul, no none of them guys. We know that. All right. Phoenix has beat these guys uh, three games in a row, going back to uh, 2021. But like I said, uh, they played in January 28th. Uh, this new look, um, the first game they played this year was uh, November 15th. Uh, it was 96 to 99. Then they came back and played January 28th. It was 134 to 124. Uh, so that was a really, really, you know, they really, really crushed that spread. I mean, crushed, crushed this total uh, that one, uh, uh, one game. So, you know, it is what it is, man. We'll see. We will see. Uh, both teams playing pretty good. Uh, so, man. Favorite plays right now from what we have out on the props here. Uh, 
We only have a few things out for the uh, Minnesota Timberwolves, all right? Uh, I mean, I can, how can I overlook? I mean, how can I overlook uh, what I've been riding? I've been riding a three ball, uh, especially for Crowder, and I've been sneaking in there on the back end for Mikhail Bridges. Uh, you know, he 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 owe a motherfucker so much money. He be selling so much, but Mikhail Bridges, he's hit uh, two threes or better in um, five of his six last games. Five or six of his last, you know, games. You know what I'm saying? So I caught him on a couple of them. I caught him on a couple of them. You know what I'm saying? It's a matter of time for we go out there and give me a single three, and that's it. But I, I guess uh, Jay Crowder, uh, he 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 he's been getting there for me. All right, so he's been getting there for me uh, in the three point category. He's hit uh, two threes or better in uh, nine out of his last eleven games. I want to say. Uh, it might be more, uh, but yeah. Uh, so I have no problem with going there. I don't want shit else from him. I don't give a fuck else. What else you do? Whatever else you do. Uh, but you know, points. Are, uh, Minnesota will carry a team over. So uh, the three balls in play for all these guys. You know what I'm saying? So I do. You know, Jay Crowder's is a little bit juiced up. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you get both of them on the parlay for uh, uh, one, 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 uh, 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 plus two hundred eight there. And, uh, you know, that's a decent number right there, all right? Um, rebounds, okay? Uh, they uh, they do give up a decent amount of rebounds here. Uh, so, uh, last time these two teams played, uh, you know, uh, Carl Anthony Towns, uh, he had nine rebounds. And uh, they didn't have uh, they didn't have Aiden, I mean, uh, Aiden, but, you know, Biombo went in there and got him 12 rebounds. Um, and, uh you know, I don't know how, but uh, Chris uh, Chris Paul went in there, got him uh, 12 rebounds too, uh, uh, but he had a triple-double. So it was going down that game. Uh, I'm definitely going to be in the, in, 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 in the assist prop, you know, on the assist prop for uh, for Payne, you know what I'm saying? You know, they don't want to put him up there because people are really going to start hammering, hammering it, you know? Oh, and uh, so that's just about it, what I got right there. You know, uh, Booker is self-explanatory. He's always in play for points, whatever the case may be. Uh, his matchup is pretty good. I don't know who they're going to try to throw on him. Hopefully, you know, it is what it is. You know, he's self-explanatory. Uh, don't mind getting to four assists for Booker. Uh, don't mind getting there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but it is what it is. Man, I, I don't have a lean in this game, man. If Minnesota Timberwolves is one of my favorite teams to bet on. Uh, Phoenix, Phoenix Suns just proved they can do it. They've been overcoming adversity, you know, here, there, everywhere. So we'll see, man. We will see. Uh, I mean, I might just, you know, I might just have to back off that one, man. Oh, you know, uh, 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 um, I went to go to the rebound session. I'm sorry. Uh, DeAndre Aiden, uh, yeah, his rebound prop is in play, though. I ain't even going to lie. Uh, Barney foul trouble, I think he could get there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Cat is can be a handful. Uh, the only time he played against Cat, he had twelve rebounds this year. Uh, he did have five fouls though, so you know that's the only thing that's uh, keeping me uh, weary of this situation here. And on the other side, you know, the three balls is going to be in play for the for the usual suspects. All right, Minnesota Timberwolves at home. Uh, we'll see. Maybe I might change my hat, mind a little later on on something, but I don't know. Houston Rockets at uh, Dallas Mavericks. We'll have no Luka Doncic in this one. A two twenty three and a half over under in this one. Houston Rockets fed, uh, uh, Dave, Dallas Mavericks favorite by ten. Um, I'll have interest in some uh, Dinwiddie props and uh, some three point prop from uh, Bullock. Uh, other than that, uh, 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 some assists for uh, for um, for um, what's the boy name? Um, oh shit, Brunson and and. Uh, uh, then witty, you know, but just don't have lines out right now. So, uh, slight lean towards Dallas. I don't know if I'll bet that 10. It's a possibility they can blow them, but I don't know if I'll bust, uh, bet that 10, though, you know, uh, bet that 10. I might have to look to a player performance double or something. Uh, Philadelphia 76 is at Los Angeles Lakers here. 230 over under in this one. And, uh, uh, Philadelphia 76 is favored by seven and a half. Uh, I don't. I mean, whenever, whenever, whenever you got LeBron James on the team, you should have a chance at something. You know, uh, they're gonna have Embiid coming in tonight. 
I don't, they gonna I, I, shit. I would imagine they start Dwight Howard. I mean, come on now, you got to do something. Uh, don't go out there and let that man go out there and just you know kill like that. But you know they ain't gonna have no choice. Uh, so uh, and B props are definitely in play. Um, but you know we don't have anything out for this one. Mm-hmm. We don't have any. Oh, we, we got something. We got something. What we got? LeBron James. Uh, so I didn't look into it. I ain't look into it, man. I ain't look into it, man. Uh, both of those guys there in play, you know, for props or whatever the case may be. Uh, I ain't looking into it. You know, let me see what Lamont uh, three point prop is. Um, two and a half. Of, you know, it's juiced up at one sixty. I, I don't mind that, and I don't mind some uh, Harden assists. What is it? Ten and a half. Yeah. So you know. Hard to, uh, hard, I, I think Harden can, can get there. All right, slight lean towards the over in here. You know what I'm saying? You know, going up against this team, I mean, you, 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 they don't play that good defense, man. You know, Garland go out there, get their ass 12, 13, 14 assists. I mean, James Harden, he can do that. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely got a strong lean towards the uh, this assist prop there. Uh, if I bet, if I was to bet on this game, Philly going on the road too, man. Philly going on the road to L.A. I seen Stranger Things, man. I don't think L.A. got enough firepower to try to beat these boys. We'll see though. We'll see. Um, slight lean. I mean, I can I can only bet the fella. I can only look at Philly in this one, man. That's all. I can only look at Philly in this one. San Antonio Spurs and Portland Trail Blazers. Uh, we have a. 231 over under in this one. Uh, San Antonio favored by uh, 10 in this one, all right? Uh, this is the last one. They're on the road. So uh, this is the last game on the docket here. Uh, I'm not a big, I mean, you know, let's just, let's just talk about some of these injuries real fast because I'm going to let you know something. Um, um, Josh Hart, he is uh, he going to be out for this one, all right? Uh and then, uh, I guess the usual suspects, they still out, man. Yeah. Lonnie Walkers and, yeah. So, all right. All right. Um, key to base, DIP is questionable. We're going to see, man. Uh, we're going to see what's going on. We're going to see what's going to happen here. All right. So, what do we got here? Um, I'll talk about what we got out right now, and I'll talk a few things about the other guys. All right. I mean, so many spots on this slate tonight. I don't have to force anything. Uh, we do have double double candidates here. Uh, um, let me see. Okay, if you feel if you're feeling froggy, you know you can't jump at a uh, you can't jump at a Yakupertu, uh double double uh, prop here. That's definitely in play in this game here. Um, he's had a double double. Uh, once out of his last three games, but uh, his rebound totals has been looking nice. I mean, 14, 8, uh, 14. He had a 4 uh, going up against Minnesota, uh, and then 11 and 12. You know what I'm saying? This team, you know, uh, they, they've been rebounding the ball a little better as of late, but, you know, they're not a good rebound team like that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, his rebound prop is kind of juiced up high. I seen it was nine and a half. Don't mind getting to an eight or something like that. You know, I have to close my eyes and get to an eight or something like that in the same game parlays. Um, you know, even if I want to throw a six up there for DeJounte Murray, I don't mind getting there. And then assist prop, uh, I could throw out something like an eight for uh, 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 DeJounte Murray. And I can roll out with something like that, a plus 126. Uh, and hopefully that will hit. That's something that I already had put together. Uh I had already uh, threw that out there, all right? But um, the three ball, um, Kelvin Johnson, you know, we, we know he got upside on that three. Uh, it's just He just got to be hitting them. I don't think I'll be stressing that today. Um, so on the Brazier side of things, though, man, um, I was all over the assist prop for um, Justice Winslow last game. If, you know, it comes – because it came out at two and a half. So – it, it was juiced up at my minus one fifty, but I jumped all on that. You know what I'm saying? I I, I want to see what is coming out today in this matchup. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Portland don't play that much defense, you know. So, uh, I mean, San Antonio Spurs are not, you know, that good of a defensive team. I like the pace, so it's possibly, you know, I want to see what the ups with the with the assist prop gonna be like. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a ladder that shit. I'm gonna raise it up. All right. 
And then, you know, my guy Eubanks, I'm gonna be on his rebounds for sure. Uh he's he's been, you know, he's been he's been taking care of business. I mean, eight rebounds, eight rebounds, six, nine, ten, twelve. Uh, then he's been putting the ball in the rack, 17, 12, 18, 10, 16, and 20, all right? Then uh, I like the matchup for, um, I like the matchup for um, Brandon Williams, all right? So uh, Brandon Williams is pretty ag aggressive. So look, I took Boston, I mean, I took Bro uh, Brooklyn, I mean, Blazers last game uh, against Detroit. I just went out on a limb. I, I did a player performance double. Uh, eight rebounds and a win for uh um for um for uh Eubanks and he got that from me at a plus five eighty. You know, I was shocked. I only sprinkled a little bit on it, but I was shocked. You know what I'm saying? But you know, uh Brandon Williams though, you know, look for him to be a little bit more aggressive if if Josh Hart not playing, which he's not. So I look for him to be a little bit more aggressive. Um he took twenty three shots last game. Uh, no, I mean 17 shots last game. You know, most of the time when Josh Hart plays, he might take around 10 or 12. But, you know, if he gets in that 17 shot range, uh, count me in. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I, I'll, be, I'll be with that. I'll be with that. All right. Um, so, man, I'm long video here, man. But be safe out there, guys, man. Be safe out there. Peace.